Welcome to Chamber Exchange, a TV show. My name is Tim Murray, President and CEO of the Worcester Regional Chamber of Commerce. And we want to thank our sponsors, Bank Hometown, who helps make this show happen. Uh, the show happens uh, where we can talk about economic development. Uh, we bring on guests uh, who are members of the chamber and people working on issues of uh, economic development in the region. And I'm thrilled to welcome back, because there's breaking news since the last time she was on the show, uh, Bree Azer uh, is here from Bree's Sweet Treats. And you've been in the news. I have been. I've been super excited. I've um, won some awards. I've opened my first brick and mortar shop. Yeah, well, let, let, let's talk about that. But just for maybe those uh, of our viewers who did not get a chance to watch the last time you, you were on, maybe you could just tell us how, you, how and why you started Bree's Sweet Treats. Sure. So um, I'm Bree, Bree Sweet Treats. We make handcrafted artisan chocolates and treats. Um, award winning. I started this business in the pandemic. We are a business that rose out of the ashes of the pandemic. It turned from um, doing something fun with my son and being creative and making chocolate boxes for our friends and family um, to moving forward from a side gig to a part-time gig to a full-time gig to brick and mortar. So I, I want to you know, talk to you about that and maybe you could share, you know, share it with our, with our viewers. So you know that idea of how do you take some, a passion, something that's fun, and scale it. And you mentioned, you know, part time, and then you know, brick and mortar. Uh, obviously, it's a commitment, uh, a passion that you have. But also, you work with a couple of organizations that assisted you in that: the the Worcester Food Hub, and then the E for All program. So maybe you could just talk about how, as a food-related business, you utilize the Food Hub. Absolutely. So um, as soon as I realized that this was something I was serious about and I wanted to make a career out of it. I realized that I needed more education in the food background. I have my MBA. I did not have that food knowledge, um, and it's a highly regulated industry. Right. So I reached out to Sean Rainford, who is the director of the Worcester Regional Food Hub, and he sat down with me because I already had an established business that I was trying to grow and scale, and um, talked about wholesaling. And he got me in touch with the Worcester State University Upskill Program, which they are a part of. And I took a series of classes over there, including um, preparing for my wholesale permit and then um, and what it what it took and then preparing it and getting it. And now, um, thanks to them, I actually have my wholesale permit in addition to all the other things I've been doing. Yeah, and I want to talk about E4All, but, but the, you know, the food up, you know, the, that permitting stuff is really important, right? At the municipal level, there's a whole series of things required because they, you know, the municipal government and the state government want to make sure that people are buying food, it, the certifications, there's training, the safety, there's labeling. Yes. And then, uh, <laughs> so those are all things that they were able to help walk you through. Absolutely, you know, and, and it was great. And I honestly, I couldn't have done it by myself. There's a lot of information out there it blew my mind how much misinformation is out there from people who think they're giving the right information right. and it's just not. So it's so necessary to take those next steps and get educated. So you talked about the Food Hub and its partnership with Worcester State. Uh, E4All, how did you utilize that program? Oh, I love E4All. I'm the biggest advocate of E4All. Um, uh, E4All is a business accelerator program for entrepreneurs, for nonprofits, whether you just have an idea and you want to scale it, or you've been in business for a year and you want to grow, um, or you just want to even figure out if what's in your head is actually going to make it yeah. into a business. Yeah. Um, it's amazing. I actually won my first cohort and won some prize money, $3,000. Right. And just last night, I was awarded second place for the second quarter and won another $900. So there's money out there. It's not you, you get the education, but you also get to show them what you're doing and you can win seed money. Right. Uh, well, that, congratulations for that. And those, that's seed money that you can put back into the business and product. And uh, But let's talk about that. So passion and in, in, uh, or, or hobby that was taken and started in the pandemic, mm -hmm. developed that into kind of contracting, selling, and now you're brick and mortar and recently just opened up the public market. I did. I'm so excited. Listen, um, come find me and my staff every Wednesday through Sunday at the Worcester Public Market, 160 Green Street, Worcester. Um, you cannot miss us. You park in the main parking lot in the back and you walk in and you hit our big purple Bree Sweet Treat sign. Um, it was not my plans 
it was really not my plans. It was God's plans, and His plans are better than mine, so I had to move forward with it. I'm so excited. Well, since you made the reference to God, we've got love. We've got some stuff here. Yeah, well, uh, so this is just a sampling of, of what you've got here. Why don't you show us? Yeah, so for Valentine's Day, it's coming up, and I just brought a few things. Um, this is our love bar. Um, the red inlay is white chocolate, and the uh, backside is chocolate. Um, it's an excellent gift for anybody. Um, we have. And you get your fill of chocolate with that. You do. It's yeah. huge. Right, so it's big, it's yeah. very big, and we do. It's three sweet treats. We do everything giant. So this is a giant pack of heart um, and lips. These are actually dipped Oreos. Wow. Yes. Um, this pack I love because this is a four pack of dipped Oreos, but this is a forever flower. Um, so it is a yucca root made flower that you can keep forever. It's not going to um, wilt or fade or anything. It's so soft. So you not only get to eat my delicious treats, but you get to give your loved one a nice keepsake. Oh, yep. And then we got a couple. Yes. And these are just some chocolate bars, um, um, chocolate and white chocolate. So we've got some nice things here. And this weekend I'm heading to Clark University. Right. So, um, custom made, uh, Clark yes. University with the Cougar logo on it. Yes, yeah, so colleges out there, I want you to know I can partner with you. We can put your logo on for any occasion. I am a proud Clarkie. I absolutely love it. And these are going to the women's basketball team for the senior day. Awesome. Well, we also want to thank you. We recently had a chamber board meeting and we uh, want to like to thank our board, which is a volunteer board with uh, and we had some uh, specific dipped Oreos with the chamber logo and uh, the city of Worcester logo. Was it? Uh, so we went with the heart logo heart for lo the chamber, and then we went with the smiley face. That's right. Um, okay. Because it really not only represents happiness, but Worcester, the smiley face, the iconic smiley face, was created in Worcester. So we put some creati creativity behind making that package. Well, there weren't very many left because everyone walked out with them, so it was a hit. Uh, and we're not just showing them; there, the people are voting. Uh, uh, in terms of some of the awards you've won. You want to talk about some of the Chocolatier Awards in the minute or two we have left? Thank you. So um, I recently got awarded um, Telegram and Gazette, um, Telegram and Gazette Best of 2022. However, just last week, I was able to pick up my award from the Worcester Business Journal for um, Best New Business in, in Central Massachusetts 2023. And that was humbling. It was amazing and it's already sparked some new business connections as well. No, well that's that's great and people can come to Worcester Public Market and, and buy but also if people want to contact you to contract you know some some contract uh, some some specific treats or or chocolates for events or as thank yous Yes. You can customize and talk about that with them, right? Absolutely. We customize anything. We did um, chocolate clocks for Worcester Housing Authority, um, e edible Oreos and all things. So literally, if you want a high heel, we can make you a high heel. Not you specifically, <laughs> for, um, but anybody. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. So uh, if... We know you're at the Worcester Public Market if people want to reach you and your team, but how else can they reach you and learn more? So you can um, go to our website, shopbreezesweettreats.com. Um, you can reach us on Facebook and Instagram, Shop Breeze Sweet Treats, and on LinkedIn, um, Brianna Azier, A Z I E R, and then Breeze Sweet Treats. And Breeze B R I. B R I. Right. So Brianna Asia, owner of Bree Sweet Treats, uh, a rapid uh, climb, uh, which is great to see, and it's exciting and right in time for Valentine's Day. Some great products uh, for the season, but also year-round helping businesses and individuals uh, meet their chocolate needs. <laughs> Thanks for being with us. Thank you. I had a sweet time. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Well, we're going to come right back uh, in a few minutes for our next segment. Stay with us. These days, you've got your hands full in life. That's why we help you bank simply and securely with tools like Face ID and Touch ID. It's why we make it easy to make purchases on the go and get cash back while you're at it. Why we help you quickly deposit checks wherever you are. And it's why we lend a hand with sending and receiving money right from your phone. So even when you're on the move, you can manage your finances. Bank Hometown. Unlock your potential. 